Hey y'all, welcome back to the Orange Bloods Texas Football YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Even turn on the alert so that every time I interview a, a soon-to-be Texan or recruit or even the OB athletes that we have now, you will be the first to note. I have a fresh face for the page, a special guest, a soon-to-be Longhorn, Ethan Burke, Westlake High. We all know about Westlake. They produced the Drew Breeses, the Sam Ellingers, the Calvin Andersons. He's a four-star in lacrosse and in football. We love a dual athlete. So for starters, how are you, Ethan? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me on. Of course. Let's talk some lacrosse. Because mm -hmm. I'm sure, look, I've had enough football right now. So we're going to talk some lacrosse first. You committed to Maryland lacrosse program. Yep. And then you committed to Michigan for football. So it seems like... The lacrosse was first. Tell me a little bit about how you even got started playing lacrosse. Yeah, so, I mean, it's kind of been in my family uh, for generations now. My dad played. He played in college. He played professionally. So I've been playing yeah. since I was about four. So, like, early on in high school, that was my main focus, really, was lacrosse, making sure I can get those scholarships. And I knew I had the talent. And I knew I could secure a scholarship, scholarship in lacrosse. So I really just focused on that and, and made that my first priority, like in, in the early years of high school. And now I've kind of transitioned to football, but it was definitely my first love. And I still enjoy watching the sport, enjoy playing it, just playing with my stick all the time. And what made you just even pick up a football to begin with? Well, I think just the nature of football, you know, you can, I mean, there's no other sport like it. I've said that before. Where else do you get to hit people and sack the quarterback? And defensive end, defensive end and tight end, I knew that was always my sort of position. So I've, I've played both, and I think defensive end would really fit me. I just love – there's some there's, – you, you get a different feeling when you hit the quarterback, and you just get to hit people, so I really enjoy it. That's really what made me want to play football. Okay. And when did you start playing football? My freshman year. Of high school? Yeah, of high school. I haven't been playing too long. Oh, wow. Yeah. This, is, this is kind of a big deal. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because yeah. a lot of dual athletes we see, you know, you kind of see them leaning more towards one or the other, either by choice or <laughs> um, is what they choose to do. But for you, you were really good in both. I mean, first of all, you're 6'7", 230. <laughs> that, that is not an understatement at all for football. It's not like, you know, you're just kind of jumping into it and we're just going to see where it goes you could potentially be a very good football player. Just like your Westlake, I think it was the offensive, defensive coordinator said about you, like once you really tap into football, you're pretty much going to be unstoppable. But which one do you have like the love and the passion for? Well, to start, it was the cross. And then I've slowly progressed and just fell in love with football as of late. And I, I'm really passionate for the game and, and everything that comes with it, the grind with it and studying the game. I've been watching all sort of different defense events, guys that play in my position. So I really started to fall in love with it. Was it tough picking up a football, like to just learn about it or anything like that? No, I think I was naturally pretty good. Like my freshman year, I was playing both ways. I was playing O-line and, and defensive end and I was, I was doing a good job, so no, it wasn't too difficult. Oh, wow. What's been the most difficult thing just going from lacrosse to football? Because they are different. They are different. Um, football is a little more physical, but I think if you're going to play football, that's what you're signing up for. You know, it kind of comes like – and if you're going to be physical, it's it's natural, and you have to you have to make yourself be, be a physical person, and, and I don't know. It just happens. Yeah. Uh, and lacrosse is more technical? Yeah, a little more, a uh, little more speed involved compared to being on on the on the O line and D line. Uh, yeah, you have to have good stick skills. You need to understand the offense and and your plays. There's lots of lots more plays. I feel like so. Mm -hmm. And is but, it tough balancing both? Yeah, it has been. Um, we're almost done with the cross season though. So then I'm just football. I'm lifting, putting on weight. And lacrosse, there's lots of running, so that's that's affecting my weight gain. So once that's over, I'm I'm straight football. Yeah, and the weight gain. Would you say that that is the toughest part about balancing both? Yeah, exactly. That's and how are you just trying to put on the weight? Like, tell me about your routine to do that. 
So I'm going to my trainer, uh, G10 down in Cornavaca. I mm. bet you some people have heard of it. It's uh, I'm going there early in the morning, seven o'clock, working out with a few uh, NFL tight ends, and it is it's a tough resume. You know, he his his son, the guy who runs his sons in the NFL, oh, wow. and I really love his workouts and and the intensity of them, and seeing those older guys really gets me like wanting to work harder and pushes me even more. And then I'm going there and then I'm having lacrosse every, every afternoon pretty much for the last four or five months. Okay. And tell me about your preparation just to finally get on campus at Texas. Yeah, you know, I've just been everything, I, doing everything I can to, to put on weight. And I've, I've been watching all these draft analysis on defensive end and their moves and and everything it took, like I've been watching people from high school to college to the pros and just, and everything it takes them, like everything they've had to do to get there and that it's not easy. And it's, it's definitely a grind, but you got to embrace it. It seems like the maturity is just resonating. <laughs> it seems like you pretty much have it all figured out. Like I'm talking to one of the college guys already, but you're still in high school. Yeah. Where, where can you, where have you learned that? from pretty much uh I mean I've had a lot of I mean my dad obviously he's a coach he's a he's a pretty intense dude and straightforward you know and then I've had I've had a lot of older figures uh in my life I've had uncles and and coaches that I've just I don't know I've kind of just learned how to live here recently and gotten more mature and speaking of your dad you said that he played professional lacrosse was he disappointed to hear that you're choosing football, like putting the stick down? Or how was that process? No, not at all. He was he was totally fine with it. He's 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 looking forward to the, my future in football. So he's not did disappointed. He, did he think that it would happen? Like I want to know his thoughts on it a little bit. Like he knew that you were leaning more towards one. No, I mean, I think so. Here's how he looks at it. He knew I could always do lacrosse and that was there, but my freshman, I mean, freshman, sophomore year, I was talented in football and there was some potential there. We just wanted to get lacrosse secured first. And then once football came around, he said, do what you want. He's not going to, he's going to let me choose and go where I want, choose what school I want to go to. And he's not going to force me to do anything. Love that. Yeah. And what are, give me some keys to being a good lacrosse player. Uh, but work. And I would say, knowledge of the game if you're watching uh college lacrosse professional lacrosse that's one thing that's really going to help you just just bring your game to another level and then repetition if you can if you can play just as equally as well with both hands because you're you right righty one side lefty the other and if you're just as good both hands that's with your reps and your quality of reps and all the repetition you do that's how you become good absolutely and what are some goals you would like to accomplish your freshman year at Texas? Um, um, it's coming up soon, isn't it? Um, <laughs> it is. So I guess really just just put on weight and, and gain muscle is one thing I need. To, I need to take it one step at a time and, and do it slowly, but trying to make it happen. Have you been speaking to the Texas strength and conditioning coaches or the nutritionists there already? Not yet, but I've talked to a few coaches about how we're going to do it and, and getting in touch with them pretty soon. That's good. Okay. Now, throughout your recruitment process, your recruiting process, I'm sorry, what was your criteria? Because I know you were interested in a lot of schools. You also committed to Michigan at some point, but I want to know, like, what was on your sheet of paper? Like, they, get, they need to have this, got to have that. I mean, I don't think it's it's a particular list it's more of how I just feel in the area the city at the school how the coaches treat the players and and really the fan base if they support the players like how I how I'd like to be treated how they would treat you in person that's really how, how I wanted to feel like a home-like feel and that's how I feel at Texas and what were some other things you liked about Texas um just the city of Austin is outstanding and I think mm -hmm seeing coach Sark speak he's really intelligent and I love how he has he has the locker room under control I feel at all times and did you want to stay close to home or that didn't really matter to you 
No, uh, it wasn't. It wasn't a big deal. I think Texas just came at the right time, and I felt it was a good fit for me. So I, that's what I wanted to do. Absolutely. I'm happy I did. And did you visit Texas at all? Just being, you know, right down the street. No, I actually saw the weight room for the first time at the spring game the other day. Wow, you don't hear that a lot at all. Yeah, the the guys from Texas are always down here just from freshman year of high school. Mm -hmm. But I feel like it kind of helps in terms of picking your college. So it's not something that you've seen before. So you still get the wow effect. Exactly. Even when I was taking some official visits, I before I took some official visits in the places I was running at and this, that, and the other, I was like, eh, yeah. it's not exciting to me anymore because I've already seen it too many times, but you really got like the wow effect of it. <laughs> yeah, no, so I went, when I was at the spring game, I was like trying to get around and they were like, the food's over there. Mm -hmm. And I ended up in the tank and I was just so lost. Like I still, <laughs> I'm still trying to learn my, learn my way around there. So love that. Working on it though. So. And how was the spring game experience for you? Oh, it was outstanding to to talk to some of those coaches and and learn their philosophy and and just be we were in the meeting room. That was that was really cool to experience just how how they run things, get it, get an idea of how it's going to be in the future. Absolutely. And then I thought they performed pretty well in the spring game, so yeah. And to think that that was only like a taste. Even mm -hmm. the fans, that was only a taste. Like wait till you yeah. see it completely Ooh. filled up it's oh, gonna be yeah. insane yeah, yeah. So, have so. you been talking to any of the guys on the team yet yeah there's a I've talked to Taff he's from Westlake and then I've talked to a few of the recruits in my, the, my class what are some of your main college questions like now I'm wondering what do you mean college questions like what are, what are you what are you talking to Taff about uh, <laughs> Just trying to trying to learn the ways, you know. But but Taft's a good guy. I know mm -hmm. have my back, so I'm excited to get there, hang out with him, be around the whole team. Absolutely. Thank uh, you, Ethan, for joining me. Yes, ma'am. Of course. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. All right, y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Ethan will be on campus pretty soon, sooner than you would think. It's probably like next week. Like oh, that's how I was feeling. Yeah, three weeks or so. So it's oh, coming up. Okay, yeah, that's actually like next week. <laughs> All right, y'all, y'all know what to do. Turn on the alerts and like, comment, and subscribe to the Orange Bloods Texas Football YouTube channel.